The shadow of fibroids, a common concern for women. These benign tumors can have a significant impact on a woman's quality of life. Uterine fibroids are, well, a pretty common health concern for women. They affect millions of women worldwide, often during their reproductive years. These non-cancerous tumors develop in the uterus. They can vary in size, from as small as a seed to as large as a melon. Fibroids can cause a range of symptoms. These symptoms can be mild or severe, depending on the size and location of the fibroids. These include heavy menstrual bleeding, pelvic pain, and fertility issues. Some women may also experience frequent urination or constipation. Fibroids are particularly prevalent among black women. Studies show that black women are more likely to develop fibroids at a younger age and to have larger and more numerous fibroids. This suggests a potential link to genetic and environmental factors. Factors such as diet, stress, and exposure to certain chemicals may play a role. The exact causes of fibroids remain unclear. Despite extensive research, the medical community has yet to pinpoint a definitive cause. However, research points towards a complex interplay of factors. These factors include genetics, hormones, and lifestyle. Hormonal imbalances, particularly involving estrogen and progesterone, are believed to contribute to fibroid growth. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle may help manage symptoms. One area of growing interest is the role of vitamin deficiencies, particularly vitamin D, in fibroid development. Some studies suggest that low levels of vitamin D may be linked to an increased risk of fibroids. This essay will delve into the relationship between vitamin deficiencies, particularly vitamin D deficiency, and the development of uterine fibroids. Understanding these connections may lead to better prevention and treatment strategies for women affected by this common condition. Vitamin D deficiency, fueling the fibroid fire. Vitamin D, often called the sunshine vitamin, plays a crucial role in various bodily functions. It is not just essential for bone health, as many believe. Vitamin D also regulates cell growth and modulates the immune system. Studies have shown a link between vitamin D deficiency and an increased risk of fibroids. Women with lower levels of vitamin D in their blood appear to be more susceptible to developing these tumors. This association suggests that vitamin D may play a protective role against fibroid formation. The mechanisms by which vitamin D deficiency might contribute to fibroids are complex and multifaceted. They involve hormonal imbalances, altered cell growth, and inflammation. A hormonal balancing act, vitamin D and reproductive health. The relationship between vitamin D and reproductive health is intricate and multifaceted. Estrogen and progesterone, the two primary female sex hormones, are key players in the development of fibroids. These hormones are essential for regulating the menstrual cycle and maintaining reproductive health. These hormones stimulate the growth of the uterine lining during the menstrual cycle. This process is crucial for preparing the uterus for a potential pregnancy. They also appear to promote the growth of fibroid tissue. Fibroids are non-cancerous growths in the uterus that can cause various symptoms, including heavy menstrual bleeding and pelvic pain. Vitamin D is believed to influence the production and regulation of estrogen and progesterone. This vitamin plays a significant role in maintaining hormonal balance. A deficiency in vitamin D may disrupt this delicate hormonal balance. When vitamin D levels are low, the body may struggle to regulate these crucial hormones effectively. This disruption can lead to a relative dominance of estrogen, potentially contributing to the growth of fibroids. An imbalance in hormone levels can have significant implications for reproductive health. Some studies suggest that vitamin D may bind to and regulate estrogen receptors in uterine cells. This interaction could be a key factor in how vitamin D influences reproductive health. This binding could help modulate estrogen's effects on these cells. By regulating estrogen receptors, vitamin D may help maintain a healthy balance of hormones, potentially reducing the risk of fibroid development. Cellular growth and differentiation, vitamin D's guiding hand. Vitamin D plays a critical role in regulating cell growth and differentiation. It ensures that cells grow and divide in an orderly fashion, eventually specializing into specific cell types. This process ensures that tissues and organs develop correctly. In the context of fibroids, vitamin D deficiency may disrupt the normal growth and differentiation of uterine cells. This disruption can lead to uncontrolled cell proliferation and the formation of tumors. 
Studies have shown that vitamin D can inhibit the proliferation of various cell types, including smooth muscle cells, which are a major component of fibroids. Section 5. The Inflammation Connection, Vitamin D and Immune Modulation Chronic inflammation is increasingly recognized as a contributing factor to various health conditions, including fibroids. Studies suggest that women with fibroids often exhibit higher levels of inflammatory markers in their bodies. Vitamin D possesses anti-inflammatory properties. It helps regulate the immune system, preventing it from overreacting and causing excessive inflammation. Vitamin D deficiency may impair this regulatory function, allowing inflammation to persist and potentially contribute to the development and growth of fibroids. By modulating the immune response, Vitamin D may help create a less inflammatory environment in the uterus. This could help prevent or slow down fibroid development. Section 6. Calcium Regulation Another piece in the fibroid puzzle. Calcium is essential for various cellular functions, including muscle contraction and cell signaling. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in calcium absorption and regulation in the body. Interestingly, some studies suggest that calcium dysregulation within uterine cells may contribute to fibroid growth. While the exact mechanisms are still under investigation, maintaining optimal calcium levels, potentially aided by sufficient vitamin D, might play a role in preventing the development of fibroids. Further research is needed to fully understand this complex relationship. Section 7. Nature and Nurture. Unraveling the complexities of fibroid development. While vitamin D deficiency is a significant area of interest, it's crucial to remember that fibroid development is a complex process. It likely involves a combination of genetic predisposition, hormonal influences, and environmental factors. Women with a family history of fibroids are at higher risk. This suggests a genetic component to the condition. Additionally, environmental factors like exposure to certain chemicals and dietary habits may also play a role. Further research is needed to fully understand how these factors interact with vitamin D deficiency in the development of fibroids. Section 8. Beyond Vitamin D. Exploring other potential nutrient deficiencies. While vitamin D has taken center stage in fibroid research, other vitamin deficiencies could also play a role. For instance, vitamin A is crucial for cell growth and differentiation. Deficiencies in vitamin A have been linked to various reproductive health issues. Similarly, B vitamins, notably B12 and B6, are essential for cell metabolism and DNA synthesis. Their deficiency could potentially disrupt these processes and contribute to fibroid development. However, more research is needed to confirm these links and understand the mechanisms involved. A balanced diet rich in all essential vitamins and minerals is always recommended for optimal health. Section 9. A Path to Prevention. The Promise of Vitamin D and Future Research. The link between vitamin D deficiency and fibroids presents a compelling area for further investigation. Fibroids, which are non-cancerous growths in the uterus, can cause significant discomfort and health issues for many women. Understanding the role of vitamin D in this context could open new avenues for treatment and prevention. Correcting vitamin D deficiency through supplementation or increased sun exposure could potentially offer a safe and cost-effective strategy for managing and possibly even preventing fibroids in some women. Sunlight is a natural source of vitamin D and spending time outdoors can help boost your levels. However, it's important to balance sun exposure with skin protection to avoid the risk of skin cancer. However, it's crucial to remember that more research is needed to confirm these findings and determine the optimal dosage and duration of vitamin D supplementation for fibroid prevention and management. Clinical trials and long-term studies are essential to establish clear guidelines and recommendations. This research should also explore the potential benefits of addressing other vitamin deficiencies alongside vitamin D. For instance, vitamins like B12, C and E also play significant roles in overall health and could potentially impact fibroid development. While the scientific community continues to unravel the complexities of fibroid development, maintaining sufficient vitamin D levels through a healthy diet and lifestyle could be a proactive step towards better reproductive health.
Incorporating foods rich in vitamin D, such as fatty fish, fortified dairy products, and egg yolks can help maintain adequate levels. Remember, it's always best to consult with your healthcare provider to determine the best course of action for your individual needs. They can provide personalized advice based on your health history and current condition, ensuring that any supplementation or lifestyle changes are safe and effective for you. Additionally, joining support groups or communities can provide emotional support and practical advice from others who are managing similar health issues. Sharing experiences and learning from others can be empowering and help you make informed decisions about your health. Regular health checkups and monitoring are also crucial. Keeping track of your vitamin D levels and overall health can help catch any deficiencies early and allow for timely intervention. Prevention and early management are key to maintaining long-term health and well-being. As research progresses, the hope is that we will uncover more about the role of vitamin D and other nutrients in preventing and managing fibroids, paving the way for more effective and holistic approaches to women's health.